Okay, let's do the hardware installation first. Uh, I will use the Ethernet connection with power over Ethernet injector, but you can always use this 30 volt PDC or and connect it to your KNX bus by using the bus connector. So first plug the power cord to the power over Ethernet injector and this yellow cable is connected to my Ethernet router so I will put connect that to the port and the other one goes to the power over Ethernet port. Okay, let's put power on and let's see what happens. So, the bus is starting. And it got the IP address from the router. no bus but I think that means that it doesn't have a direct connection to the KNX bus and let's move to the configuration okay first we need to go to one home web page it's in the manual and you can use your Google or Amazon account for login in or make a new account or if you have an existing account I will use my Google account and yeah, it gives an next steps to go. We have done these already and connected to our device to the uh, Ethernet. And next we need to put that uh, device code which we have in on the manual. It's on the last page. Oops. It's mistyped. And now it's right. And yeah. Let's see. It found my KNX IP interface which is not Canic bridge but different device. I will use that. And let's see what it said. Yeah, to connect to your Canic bridge interface, smart home, follow the instructions below. Yeah. Let's see, maybe I need to do that using that confirm. Yeah. Choose that confirm. Yeah, let's see what it says. Yeah, okay. Now it's time to upload ETS project files. So uh, I have already opened um, ETS 5, and here is my own house project file so I will export that to the desktop and I will upload I will speed this video because it takes some time to extract my project and now we need to uh, upload it to do that one home cloud and if it file is password protected type it here so 
yeah, it detected 51 devices and 222 data points. Yeah, it seems quite right, I think. Uh, it shows it got the room names or short names from the group address names. Uh, some kind of trial and that might be because I have used one home for testing before without their other devices so it might be to get that up uh, but let's first look the device is okay then let's look my smart home so so let's change that the smart home name I will give this better name this is name of my house at the same as in the ETS project file so it's better that the GNX IP interface name and next push this one home so here we can see all the devices so this is kind of device configuration page where you can choose which rooms or which devices you want to be able to control with your home kit or glasses that or these kind of things um, okay i will change the room name for a little bit better this means uh, living room but i will type it in finish so so that uh, Apple Siri can understand commands better and I will change all the devices names which I want to control to the finish so this is a light to control and let's look what the uh, addresses are are those were right because the one home kind of automatically put those addresses so it does could be right or those could be a little bit wrong so I need to check those are those right first so, uh, it kind of depends how you have named your groups group addresses so if you have typed it in Finnish in or something else language than English I think won't put those right devices to the right places and the group addresses could be wrong so you will need to remember that yeah so these are the highlight lights lights so yeah seems okay I just need to change the name so this is TV lights change that and then there's an also yeah. I will change this this is a temperature I'll change look first yeah, address are right. Let's let change the name for Lampadilla. Temperature in Finnish. Yeah. So, this seems right. Okay, let's change some other room names this is bedroom one so i will change that to the parents bedroom so it's easy it's here uh, and as you can see there's only this one temperature device so i will change that so the name for finish and group at 
address is right. Save. That and attack that so that it's enabled. So that it, it will use that the home kit or Google Assistant or Alexa. Yeah, because I don't see my one device that it is in that bedroom. I will add one new device. It's quite easy. So let's give the name for the device. So I will use sailing lights. And the white room. Type it's a dimming light and let's give that set also status values. Let's pick the right group addresses. And then if everything is okay, let's save. Now that device should be in here, yeah. So let's look that it's same, yeah. Everything seems to be okay. Okay, now we have two rooms ready. Let's move to the voice control assistants. So you, here you can see that I have already connected to Google Home. This is when I tested other One Home solutions. So that's why it seems that it still remembers that I have connected. But now I will connect it. Connect this to the Apple Home Kit. Okay, I need to select the room where I am now. Select the, uh, this bedroom, parents' bedroom, and here you can see those two devices which we just configured. And now we need to install and open the home mobile app. I have already installed that. And then I need to add a new accessory to the home kit. Yeah, let's open my iPad. And here you need to remember that uh, I have made this is finished, so I need to yeah, I need to push that add device and then it asks a uh, code for I need to push that I don't have a code or I can't scan it so let's push that then I need to choose the right device so I have another home bridge there but it's a one home KNX bridge so let's choose that and now I need to put the code which is in the device itself and on also in the manual so I will type that and now it's trying to connect to one home KNX bridge uh, and it's okay so now we can see here that this is the device I added uh, change it yeah, it's a light for the parents' bedroom, ceiling light. So let's choose the right room. And that's okay. And here are uh, scenes that I can enable for this device. So there is a good morning, good night, and uh, let's choose that good morning and when I leave home so it puts that off when I leave home and it will go on when I said good morning and when I say good night it will go off and then there's an these lights for the living room and add that so next then Scenes. I don't need scenes for this. Uh, this is the living room temperature. Uh, no, 
it's yeah that was that um parents this is a tv light so this is uh, in the living room and i pushed our night it goes off and these are the living room ceiling lights scenes for good night and when i leave home it goes off and this is the living room temperature yeah, as you can see it doesn't put those devices to the right room so you have to always put those in the right rooms afterwards yeah on the next episode i will be testing the siri and let's see all their functions also Thank you for watching.